The death toll from Hurricane Ian continues rising. At least 82 fatalities are now confirmed in Florida and four in North Carolina. Reporter Christian Benavides shows us how the road to recovery will be long and uncertain for many. Hurricane Ian carved a deadly path of destruction across Florida in only a few hours, but the ongoing rescue and recovery will take time and resources. We are continuing the first priority, which is saving as many lives as possible. Such a big storm brought so much water uh, that you're having basically what's been a 500 year flood event. In some parts of Florida, flooding is getting worse. The St. Johns River in Seminole County keeps rising. Those nearby need boats to get to their homes. We're at the deep end, so I think these first three houses, four houses are all flooded and the rest are just getting flooded. On Sanibel, these volunteers brought residents of the hard hit West Coast Barrier Island to safety. It came up about four feet in the house, so um, I've been living upstairs. Here in the Fort Myers area, the damage is so bad, local elected leaders have used words like catastrophic and life-changing to describe the devastation. This street is one example of that. It's lined with boats washed ashore by storm surge. Lee County officials, meantime, continue to defend the timing of their evacuation orders less than 24 hours before Ian made landfall. Warnings for hurricane season start in June. And so there's a degree of personal responsibility here. I, I think the county acted appropriately. Um, the thing is that a certain percentage of people will not heed the warnings regardless. As a new week begins, more than half a million Floridians remain without power. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Fort Myers Beach, Florida. President Biden is heading to Puerto Rico today to tour damage from Fiona and then to Florida on Wednesday. And on Hurricane Ian, a team of Arkansans is heading to southwest Florida to help with the relief efforts there. They, along with other local relief teams with sheepdog impact assistance, are looking to help. But there may be some challenges simply getting there. A portion of it's been destroyed. Uh, so we're going to have to find uh, some unique ways to get to uh, a few different destinations. Ultimately, the Fort Myers area uh, is where we're headed, but uh, where exactly and what community around Fort Myers, uh, we don't know just yet. Founded back in 2010, Sheepdog's members are also bringing years of military or first responder experience. There's this sense of uh, loss and a lack of hope or, and belief that things are going to get better. Uh, and that's what we strive to uh, do the most good in, is helping people to appreciate that one, that others care about them uh, and that things are going to get better. The Arkansas Relief Team will be in Florida for about a week. Once there, they say they'll assess the situation in case they are needing to extend that relief efforts.